This is artist, entrepreneur, and art educator, Eric McRae. I'm here with Delanda McNair. Uh, she is the author of Father, the Eyes Can See. Father, Then the Eyes Can See. I guess I said that right. Mm -hmm. And then also, You Taught Me, which I had the opportunity to do the artwork for the cover of her book. Now, uh, Delanda's, both of her books are on Amazon. And she's a talented writer. And um, I, she's also working on a project with me for a book of, uh, uh, about my collage art. And more than talking about her books, I specifically want to talk about the drive, the ambition, the go get them, the fire in the belly to overcome any kind of hesitations or fear to go about producing a book and self-publishing. So, so Delanda, please tell us quickly about each of your books and then tell us why you felt you had to bring these books to fruition. Why didn't they just stay in some legal, legal pad under your, or your desktop or on, your, on a Word document? What gave you the audacity to think that you could actually self-publish and put some books out here into the world? Wow. Um, I was so hard. I would try very hard to condense this answer. Okay. Um, with this book. Uh-huh. This book started in 1995. Uh -huh. At that time, I was living in Florida. Um, I was a flight attendant. So I was not trying to write. Writing was the uh -huh. last thing on my mind. I did not. All I wanted to do was travel and see the world. Gotcha. But on somebody else's dime. Mm -hmm. That's Me smart. getting my wings being a flight attendant. <laughs> I'm going to fly next week. Okay. Um, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when and... I don't want to be super spiritual when I say this, but these truly are God-given rights. Amen. I I'm that. not one who says, let me create a story and let me come up with this character. It was almost like he dropped stuff and I was having dreams. And I am a three-part person. See, say, wow. do as it relates to the creative side of me. Excellent. Um, so it's, I was dreaming awesome. it, so I was seeing it. Mm -hmm. I was having a conversation about my dreams with my younger sister. Mm -hmm. And then it got to the point that I had to write it down. So I, in my mind, I could have the completion of that segment. But what happened every time I did my three parts, see, say, do, it was see, like somebody, say, do. Yes, it was like okay. somebody was pushing pause and it was like, okay, now this is the next set. Mm -hmm. So every time I was dumping it, I was getting more. So over the course of time, I moved quite a lot when I was a flight attendant, and um, I had all these notes, and I started going through these boxes, and I was like, what is this? And when I went across these notes, I was like, oh, that's right. So as I read them, I wanted to get rid of the notes, so I was like, let me just put them on a word doc. Mm -hmm. As I did that, compiling okay. all my, I had napkins, like, it was crazy what I was writing on at that time. I had all that information, I compiled it in a word, word doc on um, the computer, and as I completed, I was like, I sat back. I would never forget that day. I said, I was like, wow, God, this is like some good stuff. Like, if this mm -hmm. was a movie, I would so go see this. Right, like, right. this is good stuff. And then I left it alone. So I thought. <laughs> so my sister was like, did you ever finish? Because she saw me compiling the information and putting it in the, in the system and getting rid of the clutter. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah. And then she was like, what you going to do next? I was like, that's it. Like, in my mind, it was my completion. Mm -hmm. Um. She was like, no, you have to. So she's telling me what I need to do and how I need to go about doing it. I was like, I don't know anything about publishing and traditional publishing. Sometimes if you get with the wrong setup, you could end up paying the rest of your life and never seeing the money because right. of royalties that they front for you. Yeah, yeah. I, so that concerned the me. The gatekeepers. Yeah. Old school. Uh, so I sat for a long time. Granted, this came to me in 1995. So fast forward, this book was, the first one was actually published in 2013. Mm -hmm. Oh, not too long ago. Yeah, I know. From 1995. Mm -hmm. I did a little research, did not feel comfortable doing everything myself because I couldn't find enough and see enough that I could duplicate to do it all myself. So mm -hmm. I went through Zulon Press with the first one. Okay, good. Um, it was well more money than I had at the time to <laughs> invest in the book, but mm -hmm. I needed to complete it. And I um, initially, it was not going to have my name on, on it, and it was not going to have my picture. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. I had my mm. pen name, and uh, when I told my sister in my mind, I'm thinking I had made some accomplishments. I was like, well, I talked to the company. I have the company I'm going with. And she was excited, and she was like, I can't wait to see you do interviews. And I was like, um, hold up. You got to build your That's brand. That's not going to happen yeah, because yeah. it will not have my name, and it will not have my picture. 
Mm. And of course, she went to the God thing, and she's like, "Well, if He specifically gave it to you, there she is, right?" I know there. it was that a very small know. picture at that time. Okay, right? <laughs> she uh-huh. was like, "If He gave it to you, how dare you hide and put some false name on it?" I'm like, "Okay, so yeah, then mm. I have to take another time out." Not burying your talent. Yes, and because I was like, I don't want somebody pulling me on the street and tell me, ask me, what did you mean when you said this, and why did you say? This? <laughs> yeah, so I'm in the room. I have a lot to say about that. Okay. Yeah, uh-huh. I don't want the conversation because I told God, okay, fine, God. If you dump it there, I'll do it. I'll write it. I'll put it out there. And this is me talking to God. But I'm not going to have my picture up there and it's not going to have my name. We good? We good. So, right, right. so I thought. Okay. <laughs> and so when my sister said that, push pause again. And there I go again. Okay, God, does it really have to have my picture? Does it really have to have my name? I mean, the message is the same, some of the same. Do it really have to have me? Yeah, but that's the light that God puts in you. So henceforth, my name is on it. Yes, it should my be. My very small picture. There's your picture. Is on it. Yeah. Yes. So, well, it was me. My picture would have been bigger, but I'm well, kind of. I that's, got that's better. an Eric McRae thing, but <laughs> yeah. But then there's your name, the yes. random in there. Okay, so let's tell me about how you you finish this book. You put yes. it on Amazon. It, where is this book now currently? Amazon. Uh, it is on Amazon and Zulon Press. And the thing is, initially when the first book was done, there were things I just did not know. Well, that's part um, That's part of the process is that I think a lot of times uh, people think they need to know everything to even start the journey. You know, uh, part of the journey is the first steps and a lot you learn as you go. So don't be hesitant to take risks and actually make a lot of mistakes and you learn and grow through your mistakes. Right. So, you know, uh, what they say? Perfection is the enemy of the good. And uh, a lot of times people want to utter perfection before they'll start. But here she has something concrete that is the, the manifestation of, of, of a vision and inspiration. And now it's something substantive that can be passed on others. And if somebody else right now has a, a basket full of notes and good intentions yeah, yeah. Who, who seek in perfection. And which one is better, this or the basket full of notes seeking perfection? So you got you to gotta jump to it and make it happen. So you overcame your hesitations. I did. Certain, overcame your fears. You overcame your uncertainties. So you visualized it. I got over me. You got over you. And it made it simple. And I you, so enjoyed the journey of this book. I did So not, you pushed through yourself. Yes. I did not. I just was execute. Okay. You told me to do it. I'm going to do it. That's you you did out of obedience. Yes. But now I here, did. you went from obedience to being a, a joyful giver. Yes. I enjoy. And here's the thing. My thing is, I whenever I talk to people, sometimes I am complimented on Things they seem to hear in the conversation. Right. To me, I'm just talking or just answering your question. Right. Um, I did not realize, and sometimes I'm still bad about being in tune to what I actually have to say mm-hmm. and how it can actually benefit someone else. Because I totally missed that with the first book. And then when I had people come back to me after reading the first book, it melted my heart. Like, I'm almost getting emotional now. Just the things that people said to me having the opportunity to grab this book, hold this book, and read this book, and what the journey it took them on and how it was helpful to them. So you, so this book ministered to others, it benefited others, it blessed others because you were not selfish and you pushed past your insecurities yeah. to allow yourself and God use you to bless other people. Right. And that's been my personal philosophy that people say, well, artists say, I make my art for myself. I don't make my art purely for myself. It is a joy that I fulfill, but the connection to other and the blessings to other mean more to me than it does the fact that I had a good time. Right. And the good time is always wonderful. It is. Yeah, don't deny that. But then when you see the joy on somebody else's face, when your talents have impacted others, you know, that was the whole thing when Jesus said, uh, uh, don't bury your talents, invest your talents, do all these things. And to quote Picasso, which is my favorite artist, he said, he said he had to empty himself of images. So you have to empty yourself of this of these sources of uh, of creativity and all. So whether it's it's whatever you do, whether it's photography, painting, writing, uh, filmmaking, you got to empty yourself and don't be afraid to launch out there. And 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 here you know here's an example of someone who who you're a flight attendant. Yes, I was a flight attendant. You, you know you weren't you're not a professional writer. No. But okay, it, somebody may critique this and say, well, this is not, you know, it's not as perfect, or it's not, you know, not up to par. Well, who sets that standard? Did it bless somebody? I've been getting some really good feedback, and one of my things is because, again, I am not necessarily creating these stories. At that time, he gave me two, 10 titles. 
But the thing is, but you, up. but it was manifested through you. Right. And so it's. And that's okay. I, I write the way I talk because it's not me creating. It's you story. expressing. So if you read my books, it's like we're having a conversation. Okay. So that's, then you get to this book and you say, you taught me. And once again, then the land and I, part of our, our arrangement was that I would do the artwork for her, her book. And we just felt like this piece of artwork so well stated the mindset and the spirit of this book. And 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 so and what you said, the joy. Tell me about the joy you said you felt making this book and, and bringing it together. Because, you know, and when someone reads this, how they interpret it is a very personal experience. So we're not going to divulge the details of the book, mm -hmm. but it's on Amazon. It is. And where else is it? Um, right now... Uh I, from my understanding, if as long as you have the ISBN number, you can get that, go to your local bookstore and request that they order it for you. Okay. Um, but, you know, Amazon, you got Amazon Prime, it'll be at your door in two days. Right. So, I mean, my goodness. And I, now they're doing like one day deliveries. My sister was selling Yeah, that's crazy. Business. Isn't it amazing? Yes. Uh, um, so, um, now here it was more of a, here was a certain amount of faithfulness and obedience, but it was a blessing to others. And here you were a, a joyful giver. And you produce this book. <laughs> Tell me about the exuberance or the feel you had. Tell me about the emotions you had. Because a lot of times, I think when people feel good about something, it's easier for them to do something. It's like if you're working out and you listen to music, you kind of have a better experience. Or let's say whistle while you work. Right. So that kind of verse is like, oh, here we go. Got to do this. And here you had joy. Yes. Tell me about the joy. The joy side came because I got that when someone read this book, it will plug into where they needed to plug into. Just the idea or thought of that. 